Students on the UW campus tonight have an opportunity to hear from a Native American astronaut. Dr. John Harrington was born in the Chickasaw Nation in Oklahoma, and he is credited with being the first enrolled member of a Native American tribe mm. to fly in space. Dr. Harrington, welcome to Madison. Nice to see you. Good to see you. Hi, Susan. Thank you. Hi, Mark. How you doing? Good. Great. Tell us a little bit about your experience on the International Space Station. When was that? <laughs> That was in 2002. I flew in um, November of 2002 into the first part of December. Spent about seven days on the International Space Station and did three spacewalks as a part of that. What did it feel like to be the first American, Native American to be on the, on the shuttle? Well, it's quite a responsibility. I mean, I like the opportunity to share my story with students, uh, my journey to the astronaut corps, and, and the people that made a difference in my life uh, that allowed it to be possible. So that's, uh, that's why I'm here. I understand when you did that spacewalk, you had a special tribute to your Native American heritage. Uh, you had eagle feathers with you, is that right? I, I had them. I didn't take them out on the spacewalk. We're not allowed to take this stuff out. I had a bunch of tools. But I did have a, an eagle feather that was presented to me by an uh, elder uh, that had, um, he was born around the turn of the century, and his grandfather had actually been a survivor of the Battle of Little Bighorn. And it was beaded earth, uh, beaded Mother Earth and Father Sky and all the people of the world. And I had a, had a flute that was made by a Cherokee uh, friend of mine who was an engineer at the Kennedy Space Center. And I floated both of those in the space station, and actually they're in the Smithsonian uh, Museum of the American Indian now in Washington, D.C. Oh, that oh, must have been quite a that's moment. That's spectacular. Yeah, yeah. So what is your, your message to young people? Well, the message is that uh, I had some trouble, uh, troubles early on. I struggled. Uh, I wasn't motivated. My first year in college, I actually got kicked out. I had a 1.72 grade point. Uh, but I went to work in the mountains as a surveyor, and I worked with folks who were actually using math uh, in their everyday lives. And it was my first experience to understand math in, in practical nature. And I was fortunate the guy I worked for said, you know, if you want to make something yourself, if you want to be successful, you got to go back to school. And I listened to him, and I did. I majored in engineering. Uh, when I was a senior in college, I tutored a guy in calculus who was a retired Navy captain who'd flown uh, Dauntless dive bombers in World War II, hmm. and he convinced me to join the Navy. So there were two people, you know, aside from my parents, there were two people that made a really big difference in my life and encouraged me to do something that I might not have otherwise thought about. So that's the story I want to share with folks that, you know, this is possible. If this is something you want to do, you can do it. That is such an inspiring really message is. to never give up. You know, Thank if you, you fail the first time, to, to try again, because look what can be accomplished. <laughs> I had D's. I didn't fail. No, <laughs> okay. uh, I had, you know, no great point. But it was a it Makes was a, a it was a story. lack of motivation. You know, people have to have a motivation to do stuff, and that's that's where my story is. Yeah. And you look you look back at the your time in space. What do you remember most? Spacewalks, uh, being out at the very end of the space station, and realizing there's nothing between me and whatever else is in the vastness of the universe. And it was the ultimate cliff as a rock climber. It's what I did in, in college, and uh, I was 225 miles above you know, above the Earth. And uh, it was one of those OG Whiz moments where it's, 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 what else is out there? And you ask that question, you feel really, really insignificant. That was the most uh, remarkable part about uh, being in space. Well, John, what a pleasure to yes. talk with you today. And uh, congratulations, continued success to you. <laughs> hey, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Great to see you. Thanks, Dr. Harrington. And Dr. Thanks. Harrington will be, okay. his presentation takes place uh, tonight in Engineering Hall, room 1800 from 530 to 630 on the UW campus. What an opportunity for students, for sure.